now we're at our best practices section and with best practices um, I'm just gonna talk about some of the things that I do when I'm putting content on the page the first one being I always create my content outside of the site I'm not doing anything live I use like notepad or word or any text editor to first create my text none of the formatting uh, for two reasons one it's easier to insert the text and then go back and format it afterwards and two I have a backup so in the event that maybe my internet connection goes down while I'm trying to save a page I don't lose all that text I could just uh, you know paste it in afterwards or paste it in again so the other thing is um, I like to keep a consistent look and feel on all of the pages so I try to use the same font style and size on all the pages and also for the headers I like to use the same type of header so if I'm gonna use images for my header or I'm actually gonna use a different font type I try to keep that consistent on all the pages as well so that leads me to the next bullet point which is the uh, images for headers well, actually I skipped over placing images next to text but uh, we'll get into that I'll just show you an example of that but the images for headers uh, I typically like to do this just because I think using Photoshop to create my header images which are just text in this case uh, give me a lot more um, flexibility and how that font type will look on the page because it really is what you see is what you get you know you don't have to be too concerned with different browsers and how they display a font type so um, anyways not something that you have to do it's just something that I like to do and finally shift enter I just threw that up there because a lot of people when they're using the editor I've noticed uh, hit the enter key expecting to get to the next line when it actually jumps uh, a line and you have like a double space and the reason why it does that is hitting enter is not a carriage return within the editor it's a new paragraph so it actually jumps down and you know skips a line um, but hitting shift enter will take you just down to the next line and uh, you know I've had that asked to me enough where I thought I should include it here so in this demo uh, we'll do uh, we'll just take some text that I've put together and we'll cut and paste that into the editor uh, and then I'll show you some tips and tricks with the fonts and sizes uh, sometimes it gets a little funky when you start applying a font and then you change the font type then you put in a size and change the size so I'll show you how to clean that up um, and then go back and you know apply your fonts and your sizes uh, finally the the images where I was talking about like putting image next to text we will go over that and finally just show you really quick what shift enter does all right so for this section what we're gonna do is we're gonna this is our best practices section so we're gonna insert some text as plain text we're gonna do our formatting afterwards um, and then we're gonna go into uh, talking a little bit about shift enter I think I've already we've already covered placing images next to the text and sort of formatting that so I won't cover that part um, but let's see for this demo we'll go ahead and create a, a new page so let's go to add new page And we'll just create an about us page. Oh, would have been nice if I created this page so that everyone can view it. All right. So by default, when you create a new page, it'll drop that um, HTML module right on the page. Just assuming that that's what you're going to be doing is creating content on the page. So we'll click on edit text and you can see here that uh, I've already got some uh, text that I've created in my editor and this is just plain text so I'll grab this and, uh, and copy that. And then there's a little button here uh, that says um, paste as plain text which is what I like to use. So uh, first let's delete what's already here. Um, we'll select paste as plain text and it gives you a little box where you can paste in this content so I just paste everything in and click OK and so it brings everything in um, you know with uh, just the default font that the site is using and at this point we can start applying like our font and our size and all that so uh, what I might do is I might select all the text within the editor and then say I want to use like uh, well, we'll select Comic Sans so you, so you can really see the difference here. 
Uh, so we'll use that font and then we'll select the size of, um, let's just do extra small. So that's what we might do, right? And then a lot of the times you might go in and you're like, eh, I don't really like that so much. Let me go in and change that to uh, Tahoma. Let's change the font to small now. Um, and maybe you'll you'll come over here and like just, you know, maybe you'll add a carriage return, or not a carriage return, new paragraph, I'm sorry. Uh, and then you'll make this uh, larger. Um, and then you'll take this and uh, maybe, um, I don't know, let's see. Oh, maybe I'll italicize that, con that font. So, uh, you know, after a while it starts getting a little messy uh, just because you're using different fonts and different styles and different sizes and you're not remembering what you used for like your header or what you used for uh, what you might call like a, a note or something, you know. Um, but anyhow. Uh, my point being is you can always go to the source here and you can see that uh, what it applies. It applies like a style, a font size of small, then it applies a uh, font family uh, and, it, and it does that everywhere here. So it gets a little messy. So in our next section we actually talk about creating these uh, custom styles that cleans up a lot of this uh, because it's hard to remember what you use on every page and just trying to keep that consistency on every page, uh, you know, you're going to have to write it down somewhere. Uh, but if for any reason you want to go back and you want to change things around a bit, you can always delete all this content. And the best way to delete it, by the way, is to not just select all the text and hit delete. I like to go up to the source, uh, click on source, highlight everything there, and then hit delete because guaranteed everything is gone. There's no formatting left behind. There's no tags or anything left behind. Uh, then you could just paste it back in. You know, we just paste all our text right back in. Um, and you can go back to uh, trying to reformat that. And again, if we want to preview and see what that looks like, that's what that looks like now. So you can see that like what you see is not always what you get. The font size is obviously a little bit smaller here. And sometimes that really has to do with the skin that you've installed for your uh, website. You know, skins actually have some default fonts that are tied to it just to help you create that uh, consistent look and feel. Um, but again, uh, the last thing that I want to cover here, uh, since we already covered putting images next to text, is the shift enter. Um, and just to show you what that does is, as we're typing, I'll uh, type some text. And if I hit enter, you see that it sort of like skips a line. It's almost like a, a double space there. Uh, this is a new paragraph. Now if you wanted to just go to the next line, you hit shift enter and this is a new line. Now to show you what that looks like behind the scenes, um, ignore all this, but we have type some text and I hit enter and it gave me a new paragraph. That's what these P tags are. And then finally after I hit shift enter, it did the BR which is uh, just break is what that stands for. Um, and then we have our new line of text here. So that's about it. I mean, obviously we're just covering a lot of the basics, but I'm hoping that a lot of these controls up here already mean something to you uh, and you understand how to use them. And for the most part, like uh, formatting your text, creating tables, inserting images, and your text alignment, the bullet points, and that sort of thing is gonna be what you use the most. So um, you can always look in the manual uh, for what some of the other features uh, that this editor provides.